Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have a fantastic rack. I have the blank, and the rest of the rack looks pretty bingo-y. I have Alexins with the blank as an S. Great opponent changes, so Alexins is playable. But is there an alternative bingo which gets the X doubled? Yes, there is. I have Explain. And any further play is going to score the same or less. So I'm going with this. Not so good. Five vowels. Quite a long way from a bingo. But my non-vowels are scoring tiles. So I will certainly be playing. And I do have a couple of useful options. I have Hyoi and Muai, both of which hack into the vowel excess. And both of those play above and below the A of explain. And opponent may be attracted to scoring off the X. OK, well, good score for opponent. What can I do? Well, the options I identified are still available, but opponent has opened column one. So what do I have in that spot? It doesn't look like it goes particularly well with this rack. So maybe I'll leave that alone. What about playing underneath explain? I have an O which goes underneath X. And I have an E for going underneath Z. So do I have any EO words? I don't think I do. So what to do? I, I note I have Homey, which I could play above EX. Let me see what. Hi, oi. Well, that's Muai for 22. This is four more points. I am going with this. Opponent's going to be attracted to the G, but my M can go above the I. So I will have a decent scoring option. Ah, I, I, not good. So I don't have that. So let me go back to Mui. Slightly less score, but the same point applies with my H. That's going to score well off this triple letter square or with the G. Five vowels again. But again, I have two scoring tiles, so I should be able to keep going. CH goes above on and I. But I can't see a way of making that much longer. I've got C-H-E, but that's it. And I don't really want to leave myself with just four vowels. So what plays off more? I do have Chigo in column one, which will score well, should that remain available. Gaze takes a number of hooks, so column five may provide an opportunity at some point. So what about just placing my H above the I without the C in front? So I've got who, H double O. That's not terrible. It's also not fabulous. Let me revisit XO. I only have an E for going underneath, underneath ZE, so I don't have anything great in that spot. I think double O is probably the best I can see. And that's only 13 points. Mac is good, but I have nothing for going underneath OI. Opponent does go in my Chigo spot. Fortunately, only 42 points, so I still have a lead. Now, what about this? Echo eyes for 42. I think that's a lot better than anything else I've considered. 
I am going with this. Wow, three R's. So, unbalanced in a different way. All bingoy tiles and fine in terms of vowels and consonants, but the triplicate of any letter is usually applies a death knell to bingo prospects or severely limits them. Not much to hang on to on this rack. Echo Eyes takes a D and an S. Now, do I have anything beginning EX with only one point tiles? I'm looking on the board to identify high scoring tiles that I can get some value from. And I don't have to play off all three R's. Two R's isn't terrible. Well, if I had an A, I would have Far Law, which would score nicely. I'm not seeing anything great beginning with the H. Probably Hero. Only 14 points. That's grim. And although double R isn't terrible, L does not go well with it. Now, opponent trails by 60, which is probably slightly less than a bingo. Mui doesn't take an S at the end, so this isn't a hugely bingo-friendly board, but there's still plenty of open space. I have Raw on my rack. Nowhere for that that I've spotted. Wow, 83 points for opponent. Nice play, making gazes. Opponent now takes the lead. What can I do? That's both blanks gone. Well, if the Y was further across, I would have orrery. I'm not particularly looking to play off all my R's. R is a nice tile. Just looking for something better than Hero in row D. Hola might be good, but I'm not sure on that. Spinnery, although it's provided a lot of floaters, hasn't really done much for my rack. I could play Craw. Only eight points, but totally sorting the rack out. And... I do trail, and this is creating more bingo lanes. It's creating two new seven-letter lanes. And the rack leave isn't terrible. It goes pretty well with almost any vowel pickup. Just such a tragic score, only eight points. I'm going with this. Not so good. I do have an H for going above the I, so I could play Heil in that spot. L high is its anagram, that doesn't play. I don't think I have any DHI words, otherwise that would score very highly. What about playing just HI? Keeping double E I L R. That's not too bad. J and Q of the high scoring tiles still to come. Now, do I definitely not have a bingo with this rack? There are plenty of floaters to consider. I don't have a seven. 
What about the N? So I would have the IN prefix. Not seeing anything. Y doesn't look useful. No, I'm not seeing any bingo with this rack. I do need to split up the duplicate I, but duplicate E, not a problem. Now, it's towards the beginning of the month, so there's a brand new video out on Patreon, a bonus video. So, do go over to Patreon and have a look at that if you are a subscriber, a supporter of the channel, which depends on your support, and I'm hugely grateful. And if you're not currently a patron, the link is below, and there's access to an entire back catalogue of bonus videos, plus there's the opportunity to play against me on the main channel. So I'd be delighted if you could help support the channel. Now, opponent's 29 points, puts him into half a bingo's lead. And he's taken out several floaters. I think I'm going to go for broke here, open the board up. There's still one N of spinnery, which goes well with this rack. And there's the seven letter lanes created by Craw and High. High does invite a play over the top. But what else am I going to do with, with H and I? Not seeing anything. So... What do I have? These look all bingo tiles apart from the U. Through an S I would have leisured. That may not be good. I don't have a 7 that I can see. So, I have underlie. Fantastic. And surely the opponent's attracted to the top. And he is. Fantastic. Opponent creates no new opportunities. So this has worked out. Underlie for 65. And that is a nice pickup. The V not so good, but the rest of the rack pretty good. And I lead by 20 points. And two S's, so I could use one to stick on the end of Echo Eyes. Still one S to come. Now, I'm not seeing a seven with this rack. There could be an eight. But where are the floaters? There's the Eye of Koi. Not seeing anything with that. And there's the E of Underlie. No, not seeing anything there. So I do need to get rid of the V. Where can that play? Well, I could play Viz and Craws. 26 points, not bad. Still two eyes to come. It would be nice to get rid of the G. It's not a great tile. Wow, opponent bingos. And I was, I'm just wondering if that L would have given me solvings. I'm not sure. Stovings. Again, these, these tiles are in the wrong place for these bingos I'm suggesting. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. 80 points. Great score. Completely takes away all the gain from Underlie. So, what am I going to do? And I'm not sure. No idea. How many tiles left? Quite a lot. Let me check the vowel, the vowel situation. 12 out of 35, so not many vowels and only two E's. I'm just looking at the two letter sets in case I've got anything spectacular. So, wow, are there any over words? Over sings or over signs? I don't think so. Such a shame. I could play over ring. 
but that takes a number of front hooks and I do trail by about 60 so I'm reluctant to gift anything to opponent. Should I be doing something about this T? I think so. I can play voting. Slightly dangerous here that I might draw five consonants having identified the vowel drought but given how much I trail I think I do need to keep scoring. It's no good just getting 10 or 12 points and or even 20 points and trying to nurse my rack towards a bingo which then may prove not enough to win. I do wish to get rid of the V and I'm stopping score opponent from scoring in this spot either in row O or by putting a big tile on this triple letter square. I'm going with this. I draw one vowel and the other V and C, V don't go great together. So I've still got the over prefix but that burns my vowel. And opponent burns a couple of vowels so I'm not in great shape. I trail by 55 and the over opportunity has gone. A buyer takes a K in front. I don't have any blanks or the K. They've all been played. Just looking at this I. Well, Triplet has taken that out. So the, the bingo lanes, rows B, row B. Column 15. But only if I draw the I and there's only one of them. So really not good. And I'd quite like to hang on to my solitary vowel. So how can I do that? Ten minutes on my clock. And I don't want to block the board up. Can't see anything which runs through A and O. I need to get rid of the V because I think I need a bingo to win. Tricky situation. Really limited in terms of what I can do here. So nine minutes on my clock and I trail by 55. And although I can burn one of the S's fairly cheaply, I'm just not seeing anywhere to do that. What about creating an S bingo lane in column 15? Not seeing a way of doing that. I don't have a play in column 8 burning an S and the V. Eight minutes on my clock. This is a tricky situation. And a computer program would just whiz out candidate plays in a moment. Now, I have Maven, 14 points. Do I burn the extra S to try and increase my chances of drawing a vowel? Only one point? I don't think so. But it's a big call. If I keep two S's, then... I can't use one of them to begin a bingo above the E. But the S is a useful tile. I'm keeping it. Maven for 14. So I have locusts. And I don't think that plays. Wow! 
an amazing bingo for opponent. Absolutely superb find with duplicate A, U and Y. 74 points. I think that puts the seal on this game. I do have an L for an LY ending. Let me just see if Koi takes an S. I don't think it does. And it does. Amazing. Fantastic. So I only trail by about 30, but I have not drawn well. However, what about this UI spot? Do I have a QU play? That stays available. Wow, how unfortunate if I don't. So Q U O M N T W no Q U E M N T W no and only one tile in the bag. So what am I going to do with my Q? So there's the A of Orality. There's still an S to come, otherwise I could play Cat. Maybe the S is in the bag. Wow. If the S is in the bag, I've got Cats. If the D or G or P are in the bag, I've got a big play through the U. So... I mean, I, I trail by a massive amount. I don't think anything is going to win, but it's about minimising the losing spread. So I'm looking to play off W and M and keep available those two big spots. Where can I play W and M? Five minutes on my clock. Well, I could play Moan, 18 points. Yep, let's see what happens. And I draw the J, horrendous. That gives me absolutely nothing. Nice score for opponent. Now, I'm thinking about playing Jato, which is a decent score. 57 points. But then am I going to get stuck with the Q? I'm just looking around for Q spots. There's QI with the eye of underlier. Is there a second Q spot? Four minutes on my clock. The score for Jato is so high that I'm minded to play it. I don't think opponent can go out with DGT. But he could play Echo Eyes for his D and get a decent score. Well, he can score three times with these tiles. Let me just pause a moment. Cat is now available. The S has been played. Is there any other big J spot? No. Could I play the Q first? I, I don't think so. Opponent will just play something like Dag. Or just DA. I am playing Jato for 57. Although I am going to get stuck with the Q. 57 is a lot of points. An opponent has, well, obviously had Echo Eyes in mind and was also mindful of the fact that he's going to win this game, so has not blocked my spot, and that's always an option. That's always a possibility, rather, that opponent may 
miss the opportunity to stick you with a child, stick you with a child, stick you with a tile. So, chi for 11, or maybe opponent spotted a second spot for my Q, which I hadn't seen. So, chi for 11. And opponent, I think, is going to go out now. He's got tag through the A. Yeah. And the final score, 463 for me, 535 for my opponent, a winning margin of 72 points. So well done to my opponent. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. Really high scoring, both of us over 450 and opponent well into the 500s. It was opponent to go fast. He changed, and look at this, an absolutely fantastic start for me with Explain. Exilion may have been better because I don't think it takes an S, although it might. Opponent's Rack plays Gaze. Now, I thought about Homie and preferred Mui. It was seven fewer points, but if we look at these Rack Leaves... Is HIE 7 better than IO? And I would say yes it is. I would say IO is probably worth minus 5. Maybe even worse. But HIE I would put as slightly positive. Maybe plus 2 or 3. So possibly about a 7 point difference. And that's the difference in score. So I prefer the play with the better rack leave. Wow. Opponent has bingos, plays Fadge for 42, and, well, he has the blank, so it's possible that he chose not to play the bingos because playing Fadge and retaining the blank automatically adds about 25 to 30 points to your score, so Fadge is a 70-point play, and that's all the bingos we're getting, so... Given the strength of my opponent, I think he probably chose not to play a bingo. Now, here we go. I play Echo Eyes, and that looks fine. And this was a fantastic spot by opponent. Spinnery for 83. And look at this. Only one play over 20 points, and that retains three R's. Reeler a possibility, but that opens up column row A rather. So I go for Craw for 8 and I like that. Wow, opponent's rack and look at this, he does have bingos, chooses to play bow and in this instance I think these bingos would have been better and they're all through the the N of spinnery. My rack and I play HI for 26. And all of the better, the higher scoring plays have worse rack leaves. Opponent plays Koi. And I have Underlie, which I thought was great, 65 points. But it's just what opponent needed to score 80. So here we are. I'm 60 behind, but I haven't given up hope because I've got a pretty good rack. No bingo here. I play Voting for 30. Roving J8, interesting, down from the R, keeping two S's. I think that would have been a much better play. Opponent has an unbalanced rack, plays a buyer. And I have only one vowel, so I'm not in good shape anymore. B12, Coven's quite nice, although it is interrupting the available bingo lanes. So I play Maven for 14. And look at this horrible rack, but there's a bingo there and a great find by opponent. And that pretty much sealed my demise. I trail by 115. However, there is this bingo in Locusts. And look at that, a front extension for voting available as well. And now, Locusts briefly gave me hope. I trail by only 30 points, but opponent's on turn. 
devoting also available. Fled, and I think that just emphasises how much, how superior roving was compared to voting. All of these front extensions. Now here we are. I trail by eighty. There's one tile in the bag. Waym L eight. Interesting. That would have burnt one of my Q spots, but the other Q spot would have remained available. And it is 39 points. Instead, I get just 18, 20 fewer points. And, well, I don't know, cats, 69 points. Very tricky to say here. I think all of these plays are losing plays given the amount of opponent's lead. Opponent plays Wasp. J14. Jet on. Wow, 58 points. Retaining just the Q. Well, I played Jato, and Jato's a better play because if opponent blocks my, my Q spot, Jato at least gives me one more turn with the E, which Jet on wouldn't. So opponent plays Echo Eyesed. And finally, how many Q spots were there? Well, the only one identified here is QI, and I suspect that is the only one. Opponent's rack. And he plays Gut for 14, which was the best play. So, absolutely fantastic game. Look at these scores. We have scored 998 points between us, which is... Absolutely epic. It's always a bit of a milestone when you hit the thousand mark. Well, we didn't do that, but we got jolly close. So many congratulations to my opponent on his victory and thanks to him for a great battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.